In this year's FLL replay season, teams would receive 30 points if the robot can lift itself off the mat and hang on to the pull-up bar. However, in order to get these points, the robot must remain off the mat at the end of the round, meaning the robot must still be completely off the ground when the referee scores a match. With this in mind, I created a powerful compact mechanism that could potentially lift the robot. This design is built around a gear rack and a gear rack housing piece, which greatly contributes to how compact this design is. The first important part of this design is how I used a short worm gear to move the gear rack. I also built a robust frame around the gear that prevents the worm gear from sliding when it faces resistance. Oftentimes, worm gears could just push its frame apart if it does not have two permanent sides. In order to improve this particular design, all you would need to do is to add a piece that holds these two frames together. And in this design, the two sides holding the gear in place are physically held together by these arms. This frame, along with the gear itself, greatly increases the motor's torque, and it also ensures that the rack cannot move if the motor is not rotating. The second part of this design is a one-way door type locking mechanism. Basically, after the rack has moved to a certain point, these hinging pieces fall back underneath and prevent the rack from sliding back down. This can be extremely helpful because it prevents the motor from having to supply constant power into the gear. So as long as the mechanism pulls the robot to a minimum position, the mechanism would lock itself and prevent the robot from coming back down even if the motors give up. Overall, after testing this design, it was able to lift a little more than 5 pounds.